out, uh, we had started out last week and making another $2,000 all profit from digital products. Take it all back. Hey YouTubers, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's the one and only Ever Mercedes, and I am back with another video. If you're trying to subscribe to hey, if not, go ahead, click the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. Because if you're not keeping up with Ever Mercedes, then we can up with the Imperial, okay? So by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about yet again digital products. Why am I talking about digital products so much? Because y'all, I cannot believe that I am literally making so much money off selling my digital products like and it's really a big shout out to youtube because like every time on my shopify i can see where my sales are coming from and right now number one is youtube okay so i just want to say shout out to y'all for just learning and investing into yourselves and ready to take a risk and to start your digital product business because y'all if i knew this was a thing back then like I would have never thought done for you digital products was would be this popular, be making me this much money, right? So you guys know I have my faceless business and on Instagram it's getting it's okay. It's not really getting a lot of exposure, but I'm seeing that a lot of my exposure is coming through my YouTube, right? So I am just so thankful for everybody who has made a purchase on my faceless business. Like that really means everything to me. And most importantly, I'm just thankful for the people that have reached out to me and have told me personally what their digital product has done for them. And that's what really matters because it doesn't matter if you are getting money Oh, you can get 10000 a month, a 1000 a month, whatever. Like, it doesn't mean nothing if it doesn't add value to your target audience. And that's my main priority. Like, it's not always about the money when it comes down to me. It's about me actually helping people, okay? So that's why I have done for you digital products. And that's why I have digital products that I personally created, okay? So I want to tell you about each and every one of the digital products that I have and my dump you digital products, okay? Because like when I say the amount of money you can make is like mind blowing to me, it is truly mind blowing, okay? So yet again, we have ended out, uh, we have started out last week and making another $2,000 all profit from digital products, y'all. And it's like, damn, like... Y'all are really showing up and showing out. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of those sales did come from my new course that I just dropped. If you guys do not know about it, I had dropped a How to Elevate Yourself 2.0 course. And basically, it just gives you the rundown on how to market physical products, how to market digital products, marketing strategies, editing, how to use Canva, how to use CapCuts, um, the different styles of content, how to specify your target audience, and so on and so forth, y'all. It has a lot of gems in there. Basically, everything that I have learned from my previous four years of being an entrepreneur, I have put it into this course. It has nothing like a course out this on the market, okay? This is something that I created from my own brain, okay? It is not available for resale rights, but you do learn a lot with this course. And it also comes with two video demonstrations. One is a video demonstration. The other one is just a breakdown of marketing strategies. The first video is about how exactly how to edit, how to make your content pop out. Just everything about editing and how i market okay how to market like mercedes period point blank okay and then the second one is just basically the rundown about marketing strategies different type of marketing strategies how you can utilize those marketing strategies the four concepts of marketing strategies that i believe are the most important when it comes down to um selling a product or not even a physical product selling digital products it doesn't matter okay so all of that is discussed in my course i just launched this course um i know a lot of people were asking me you know could i give them a course like video instruction details on how to start and do this and that 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 and a third i finally gave in and i finally listened and after about a month and a half of working on this i finally released it the reason it took me a long time is because i really wanted to perfect the craft i just don't want to put out anything okay so i launched that course and it did 
good okay so that's a lot of where my like most of my the sales that last week came from and because it's a high ticket product meaning that it's about two hundred dollars that's why i was able to also generate that two thousand dollars but other than that y'all my dumpy digital product product business is definitely getting off the floor and it's just so amazing to see how many people out there in the world that are ready to start their digital product business ready to gain that passive income ready to be their own boss and ready to get that extra cushion to create that generational wealth for their kids or maybe for themselves or however you want to you know pocket your money and the best thing about digital products is it's a low-cost startup y'all low-cost startup you don't have to deal with no shipping no reinvestment it's a hundred percent profitable business meaning that the only thing you are paying for when it comes down to digital products are subscriptions okay subscriptions for canva subscriptions for your wix or your shopify things of that nature subscriptions for CapCut. if you choose to get a subscription with CapCut, you get what i'm saying so those are like the main things that you'll be paying for. Uh, um, and, and of course, the dump you digital product that you're, you're going to invest in. Those will be the main things that you are paying for. Other than like when you're starting a, a business selling physical products, you know, I spent a little bit more, okay? I did a photo shoot. I got me a website. The lashes was a little bit, you know, expensive when you ordering a lot of them um shipping supplies um bubble mailers scissors box colors all of those things that i had to order through uline you don't have to worry about with digital products because you don't have to ship them so it's just i cannot just keep elaborating how i don't want to say easy because if you don't know how to market then selling digital products are not going to be easy but that's why i created my course and that's why i create digital products that help you learn how to market these products especially these dumb few digital products once you resell them okay but it has been one of the easiest things that i could do like y'all don't know how good it feels to roll over and see that i have 200 dollars in my account 300 dollars, 400 dollars, two thousand dollars in my account y'all and I don't have to do nothing, okay? Like, I don't have to go to the post office. Like, right now when I get done making this video, guess what? Because it's 3.38. I have to go to the post office because I have one. I have six orders I need to drop off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going back and forth to the post office every day, sometimes two times a day to get these orders out. But it's like with digital products because everything is virtual and it's available for instant download as soon as your customer purchase, it makes it like... It just makes it 20 times easier. And the fact that you can turn anything into a digital product, it's like a digital product is like the icing on the cake. You can make a, a recipe book, a workout guide, a fitness guide, a smoothie guide. What's your, what's your morning, morning smoothies like? You know what I'm saying? Like you could turn anything into a digital product. But when I'm coming down, what I'm starting to find out is we're living in a society where people, it's a net, my bad. We're living in a society where people want things the easiest way possible and that's why i feel like dumb few digital products are so big right now so yes you may see a lot of people doing it and a lot of people selling dumb few digital products but the the reason we are doing it is because it is making us money so you can keep watching and judging people for selling dumb few digital products or you could just start selling them why not get the extra money you know what i'm saying and the thing about Dump You Digital Products is, is you have the master resale rights and the private label rights, meaning that you have the right to modify the product, change the color scheme, add to the digital product, remove from the digital product, and then resell it for 100% profit. It literally doesn't get no better than that, y'all. Like, when I say, if y'all are not on board with these Dump You Digital Products, this is something that you really need to start looking into, and this is why I offer a free ebook explaining everything about dump you digital products available i'm going to put it in my description box below it is going to be available for instant download and it's going to tell you everything you need to know about dump you digital products if you want more of a breakdown description okay just in case you may get a little confused about what i'm saying and need that extra little you know guidance i do offer that free ebook because like it's just easy money and we're living in a society like i said where people want things the easiest way possible. They want everything done easily. And that's why I think dump you product, dump you digital products are made for those who want to make money the easiest way possible without having to do so much work. I mean, if you just think about it, think about it. You are selling a product because basically what a dump you digital product is, you're selling a product digitally that you did not have to create. So think about it. You can buy a digital product with master resale rights from somebody, right? You can buy it read the whole entire thing 
then you can go ahead and change the color scheme, maybe change the title of the Dumpy Digital product. So my Dumpy Digital product that I start with, that I all, all encourage you guys to start with is my $47 Dumpy Digital product playbook, okay? So you can literally purchase that Dumpy Digital product playbook, read it, actually read it, learn from it, and then once you learn from it, get the money back on the back end, okay? Start your Beacons account because this, this ebook, my Delphi Digital Product Playbook, it tells you exactly how you're going to start your own digital product business. So if you're thinking about like, hmm, I really want to start selling digital products, but I don't even know how to start selling a digital product, my Delphi Digital Playbook is $47. This ebook teaches you how exactly how to start a digital product business and exactly how you're going to resell my playbook as your own for a profit okay so you can get that 47 dollars right back so basically you purchase it you read through it you learn from it you create your beacons account you create your shopify you do all of that all of the things that i teach you in my digital product playbook finding your um your name for your business doing that llc it teaches you all of that so it teaches you marketing strategies how you're going to market this uh this product it even gives you four automatic emails that you are going to send to your subscribers once they start signing up for your under your beacons account okay and you will know what a beacons account is later once you read the ebook a beacons account is kind of like how linktree is but it's better when i say better i mean like really 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 better okay i love beacons more than i love link tree okay so once you read it you learn from it you start doing the things that the digital that the business says because of course you're gonna have to create you a shopify account or a wix account or a GoDaddy account once you create that literally you can create your uh, your website by yourself i created my digital product done for your digital product business by myself okay that was all me okay i didn't i didn't hire nobody to do it because i just feel like i just want to I just want to see how well it would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just go in and pay somebody to do my website. Like, nah, I don't want to do a photo shoot now. Nah, none of that. I want it to be short, simple, sweet, straight to the point. And that's exactly what I did. Once you set up your website, once you set up your beacons, once you have everything in order, all you have to do is modify the digital product. So you basically take that information, I mean, that digital product, you open it in Canva. So when you get the actual digital download product, it's going to come in a thing that looks like this. It's going to show up like this, right? So the first link is going to be the actual link to your personal play digital product playbook where you're able to read and highlight and you know make little notes and all of that uh, all of that sort and then the next page will have the edible uh i say edible what it has the version that you can edit and modify okay so once you click that link it's going to ask you do you want to you know go to this template uh by amber mercedes you're going to click yes you're going to open it up and then that's when the magic happened okay let me scoot over this is when you're able to modify you're able to customize you're able to change the color you're able to change the background you can change the digital product playbook name okay i don't recommend for us to have the same title because you don't want people to be confused and think you know what i'm saying like you want to have a different name so instead of digital product playbook you could say digital products vault digital products guide digital products um gems you know what i'm saying like you want to say something like that and i also offer uh different names in that playbook okay so i offer you different type of names that you can name the digital product that you just bought in my digital product playbook okay so it teaches you the breakdown on how you're going to get this money right back into your account the 47 dollars you invest is going to teach you exactly how to get your first sale okay plus i created the emails that you are going to set up for your uh, subscribers so you can get the constant engagement and interaction from the people that subscribe to your email so once you go ahead and modify it you basically go ahead and you download the template and from the template, you literally just go ahead and you create your own template link. You download and save everything to yourself. And you have those files all that is available to you. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your Shopify account. I don't know about Wix, but I know about Shopify. You go to your Shopify account. On the left-hand side, it should say content. Click content. Click files. Upload the file that you just did with your digital product, okay? Whatever digital product that you ended up choosing and paying for, upload that file. So then when you go back into the original template so you can resell it, all you have to do is copy and paste that link, okay? It's going to be a copy button. You copy it and then you go ahead and you... Um, 
you paste it to that template, okay? And then boom, you have your template ready. So when people purchase that digital product and they want to resell it, everything is already set up for them, okay? It is easy as that. And then once you do that, you start your social media platforms and you start talking about your product. And you use the skills that I teach you in the playbook on how to market. And of course, you have to be patient and you have to be consistent. I was, cause before I seen my very first sale, I was consistent for a week. I seen my very first sale in a week, no cap. I didn't even see my very first sale in a week. I flashed my Mercedes. I seen my very first purchase with my six figure her business all from all the one week from somebody, y'all. She purchased a planner. I will never forget it. She purchased a fourteen dollar planner. I was like, wow, like people are really interested in starting this dumb few digital product business like i was so shocked and ever since then y'all it has been up because why i keep talking about it i keep making videos about it i keep putting myself out there i'm not scared to put myself out there i'm not scared to tell y'all over and over again how digital products are to go i'm not scared to because sometimes people need to keep hearing it to get that confidence to be like okay this lady that talked about this like six seven times this week let me go ahead and make a perfect purchase and let's just see or you could be somebody completely new a whole stranger and you see this one video and you get an impulse purchase and you just purchase it okay it, at the end of the day you're not going to regret the product because these are high quality dumb few digital products that i am selling it's not just bs y'all know i don't put bs to my name okay i do not attach bs to my name if i feel like the digital product was bs i will create my own 100 digital products to resell myself before i ever sell some bs to my supporters that's not gonna do nothing but tear my name down for one it's gonna make me lose support because people are not gonna trust me no more and i care too much about me and my name and my image and my business to ever 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 have myself discredited for selling bs items for a dollar it's not that serious you get what i'm saying it's not that serious because i could just keep selling my own digital products okay so believe me when i say the reason these dumb your digital products is my other business is, is because they are good quality products i use a lot of these products myself okay like even though i'm a business owner for uh for, for, for i've been a business entrepreneur for four years so like that i am still learning within myself okay it's okay to invest at this big age in your business to learn something that you possibly may not know okay i'm new i'm not new to selling digital products but i'm new to selling done for you digital products so it was very interesting and detailed for me to learn how to market how to use tactics to sell these done for you digital products i actually learned something and that's what I love. I love that at this big age and me being an entrepreneur for four years and I'm still able to learn. Okay, that's what it's all about. You cannot just be in the same place and not invest in it to learn it more and more and more and more. Even your top creators, top influencers, top entrepreneurs, they are investing their money, their big money into learning more and more of how they can really monetize and capitalize from selling digital products. I'm telling y'all, I'm not lying to y'all, okay? This world is all about learning more and more each and every day. That's why I don't mind putting myself up on the front on the front to show to tell y'all how good these dumb future products are okay so that's my ted talk for the day but i woke up in a really really good mood i don't know if y'all can tell but my energy has been different since my past two previous videos because i'm just so blessed to be in this position that i am really out here doing my thing like period i love that for me okay but like I said, all of those dumb few digital products will be available in my description box along with my personal digital products that I have created, okay? So, yes, I've created my own digital products that are not for resale. And then I also created dumb few digital products that are for resale, okay? So, Master Resale Rights is the abbreviation. Uh, MRR is the, just the abbreviation for Master Resale Rights. PLI is the abbreviation for private label rights, okay? Because I know somebody going to ask me. But I do have the best of both worlds. I'm able to sell dumb few digital products and make a profit. And I'm able to sell my own digital products and make a profit. Either way I go, a win is a win, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I tried to make this video under 20 minutes. And I think I got it just right under 20 minutes. But this is your sign to invest for dumb few digital products, okay? Don't forget, I will have my free ebook in my description box. So you can learn more and more in detail about dump your digital products 
And I will also have my um, business consultation link in my description box below. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one about your business and how I can help you with your business, I offer that as well. And don't forget, we also added the, in the social media audit and your content idea list where I go ahead and I run all of your social media platforms and I come up with um, content ideas specifically tied to your content and your target audience, okay? But other than that, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all of the love and support. And thank you for everybody that just purchased um, a product for me. Y'all are going to just go crazy, okay? I love y'all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.